About 90 years ago, there was a banker here. His name was Thorpe. He made his fortune cheating the poor. He was a mean man. He was a, he was a cruel man. It was him and his family and a couple of servants. Name of Mama Cecile and Papa Justify. Sit down. Now, the way I heard it, old man Thorpe, he didn't know that Papa Justify was a two-headed doctor. He was a conjure man. And so was Cecile. They believed in Voodoo. That was their room. Oh, they were famous all through the pipes. They healed the sick and they hurt the mean. Hit a straight lick with a crooked stick, as the colored say. But old Thorpe, he just saw him as help. And he worked him to the bone. He abused him. Until one night, as the story goes, there was a party. It was the bank's anniversary, and all the big muckety mucks were here. Politicians, sugar bands, riverboat tycoons. There was a lot of drinking and dancing. And a couple of trysts, I'm sure. And then finally, when it was time to say farewell, some of the guests wanted to wish goodbye to the children. But nobody could find them. They hadn't seen them in hours. So being all full of brandy, they made it a game. Let's find the children, find the children. Room after room after room. Finally, someone heard music and voices and shouting up in the attic. It is time, Lord. The servants were up there with the children. They were trying to teach him how to conjure a hoodoo. Well, Thorpe went about insane, and so did the rest of the guests. I mean, how long had this blasphemy been going on? The children said it was their fault that they had wanted to learn.